Hi, Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching. Welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what will happen the next time the both of you will see each other. It is going to be a general reading, guys. Please keep that in mind. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video. Okay, let's give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. They, they seem to be very withdrawn, okay? So next the next time you do see this person, it feels like they're not very... Their body language, their energy here, it doesn't feel very open. It's going to, it's going to feel tense, okay? It's going to feel really tense. It's going to feel... I'm going to be honest with you. It's going to feel a little awkward, a little uncomfortable here. I mean, this... Okay, it could be someone that you're currently in a separation with. You and this person um, may be at a discord or a disconnection from one another. Maybe you just haven't seen this person in a really long time. Um, maybe the last time you spoke here, the last time you've seen each other, things were... Well, they got a little bit tense. They got a little, you know, stressful here. It feels like some of that energy, some of that tense, conflicted energy is still lingering. And it feels like the next time that you will see each other, you're still, still going to catch this... You're still going to feel this energy. You're still going to catch this vibe that something is off. And they still, they feel very, um, I don't know why, but they will be acting weird. I don't, I don't know if that's because they've been acting weird the whole time. But I do see your person acting weird, acting strange. They're not giving you what you want here. So for some of you, I don't know, it feels like you want to talk with this person. It feels like you have some questions for them and you want some very honest transparent answers i don't think that they can give you that just yet i feel like they're keeping things to themselves so right now they've really crawled into hermit mode okay for some of you this is someone that you're, you're not getting anything from this person no contact no communication you're getting this cold energy you're getting this cold vibe that they're emitting and sending your ways it's like they're giving you nothing to hold on to they're giving you nothing to go by and for some of you this person like there just may have been this shift in the energy and you're not really sure you're not really sure like what propelled this shift or why they've suddenly started acting weird or awkward um to me it feels like you want to talk you want to talk through through things you want you want to figure out what's going on with them you want to figure out what's going on with the situation but your person is quite defensive your person is not very they're a little wired, they're a little worked up, they're a little charged up is what I'm seeing. So the next time you see each other, yeah, you're getting a little bit more of that energy. You're getting more of that vibe here, more of them being cold, distant, um, emotionally aloof, even detached. I don't know if you've said something to make them act this way. I don't know if, you know... They, I don't know, they could have misunderstood or misinterpreted something you've said. Maybe the both of you are, you know, you, you guys are fighting. You're at this stage of your relationship or your connection where things are a little challenging right now, a little turbulent. Um, your person is maybe processing through all of these things. They do feel this sense, I mean... I'm seeing that there is ego. I don't know if your person is very ego driven. I don't know if your person is. I do feel like they're playing games. I do. Okay. Um, I do feel like your person, in a way, they know what they're doing. So if they're being silent, I feel like they're being strategic because they know that, you know, by keeping silent, it's going to. Um, it's going to aggravate the situation further. It's going to, you know, get you upset. Um, so they know what they're doing here. They could be playing mind games with you. Um, or they could be using their silence to sort of leverage results here. I feel like it's strategic and I feel like they're playing some sort of games. 
if it's not that then I, I think the other thing that it could be is the fact that they are coming up as a little bit more not more but coming up as someone who is a little emotionally immature or perhaps even a little juvenile or infantile when it comes to their emotions so not someone who's overly emotionally intelligent um, I do see that there is ego involved here I don't know if it's yours or theirs or the both of yours and I feel like the ego is what's kind of spoiling this relationship this connection or this situation and you know there's a clash of the egos here and you know egos can definitely ruin relationships friendships connections um, someone he needs to let go of the ego and take a step towards reconciliation take a step towards you know a resolution of some sort uh, I feel like the person, you know, they may have this desire to constantly be right. Um, or, you know, communication communication has dropped off significantly with your person. I also see them expressing a lot of jealousy and a, like a lot of possessiveness towards you. This is someone who may be full of pride and arrogance. And, you know, he or she may also be um, unwilling to admit and apologize, even though they know they're wrong they'll hesitate to do so. Um, you might also be dealing with an individual who has narcissistic tendencies or who just has like, this tendency to constantly play the victim. So I just feel like you're up against a lot here. Um, and I do feel like at the end of the day, you know, someone's ego is going unchecked here and it's what's causing this tremendous amount of turbulency or even turmoil in this situation. Um, and I'm seeing that there's a lot of negative feelings which... I don't think they've been properly expressed and as a result they've been built up and they're manifesting those feelings have manifested itself like as anger, resentment, jealousy, you know, all of which are products of the ego. So I next time you see them I feel like you're still getting some of that, um, if not a whole lot of that. I don't see this person trying to adjust their version of them. I feel like the way that they're, the way that they're responding right now is really, um, the way that they're responding right now, I feel like is really, um, like it's spoiling or it's hindering, you know, a reconciliation. I'm also seeing that communication with this person has dropped off. They've really withdrawn into themselves. And I don't see them next time you, you see each other or you even talk to each other. I don't see that this person is going to all of a sudden open up and be vulnerable with you. It's someone, and you know, I don't see them bearing themselves to you. I feel like they're, in fact, they're very closed off. It could have something to do with the fact that there's been some sort of blow to their ego. Or, you know, um, I feel like for some of you, you might even begun walking around like walking on eggshells around this person. Everything has kind of started becoming about them, right? And I think for a while now, you've noticed this person withdrawing from you and into themselves. So no contact or very little. Um, and even if you try pursue open honest communication with this person I feel like it's kind of like they're detonating okay they're detonating and you know they get set off they become very de defensive argumentative they just don't want to go there uh, I, I do think you know there's only so much you can do but one of which of course is you know making that effort to communicate better um, see if you can try and take the lead guys by sharing um, you know, a sense of vulnerability or by sharing more open details of yourself and, you know, of the relationship with them. Um, I just feel like the fact that, you know, someone's ego here is really getting in the way, is really unchecked, is what's really stifling here. I'm also seeing that this person is a little bit controlling. And... I think for some of you, it's like you're wanting, 
you're wanting a conversation, you're wanting to talk to this person, but the way I see them responding is there's something here that happened. I feel like there's been an argument or disagreement or something's happened here. I think it's recently. And I think your person is still very much focused on that. And I think I see them bringing that into the loop. I see them bringing up past problems or past situations that have happened. And I think for the most part, you've moved on from them, from that. But they haven't and they're, they're going to it's like they're throwing it back at you and again i feel like it's also them their way of deflecting because they don't want to just you know they don't want to open up they crawl into hermit mode and they're in this kind of that there's this sulking kind of energy that i'm seeing as well okay guys so there you have it the next time you see them i know it probably doesn't feel like a pleasant encounter for a lot of you but if you can find a way to get through this your best bet is you know just open honest transparent communication or just give them a little bit more time to you know think through things sort through their emotions and hopefully they'll come back here um you know with a little less ego right thanks guys for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel bye